hi students welcome to a new video in this video we will learn about how to find a uh, zeros of a biquadratic polynomial if two zeros are given okay we have a question here find the remaining two zeros of polynomial 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x plus 2 if root 2 and minus root 2 are the two zeros okay See, it is a biquadratic polynomial. It will have four zeros, isn't it? So two zeros are given already. We should find the remaining two zeros. Okay. So let us go ahead and solve this problem. Now, root two and minus root two are the zeros, isn't it? That means x is equal to root two and x is equal to minus root two. If we substitute in this polynomial, the polynomial will become zero, isn't it? So, x minus root 2 is a factor and x plus root 2 is a factor of given polynomial, isn't it? Okay. Now, if you multiply these two polynomials, the resultant polynomial will also be a factor of the given big polynomial. Okay. So, x minus root 2 multiplied by x plus root 2 this is like a minus b a plus b isn't it so a minus b a plus b is a square minus b square so similarly x minus root 2 x plus root 2 will be x square minus root 2 square okay so this will give us x square minus root 2 whole square is 2 okay so the resultant polynomial is x square minus 2 so this x square minus 2 is a factor of given polynomial okay that means if we divide the given polynomial with x square minus 2 the remainder will be 0 all right so let us divide that so the given polynomial was 2x power 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 and we are dividing this polynomial by x square minus 2 see if you see carefully this x square minus 2 doesn't have x term isn't it so we should write it as x square plus 0x minus 2 isn't it so this big polynomial should be divided by x square plus 0x and minus 2 all right so let me just uh, rub this part what happened there okay now i hope by now you should know what uh, how to solve long division okay we did this in three or four videos before so the first term 2x power 4 should be divided by x square okay 2x power 4 should be divided by x square so it will give us 2x square isn't it it will give us 2x square and that 2x square should be that 2x square should be multiplied by x square plus 0x minus 2 okay so let us go ahead and multiply that it will give us 2x power 4 and 0x cube and minus 4x square all right so let me just rub this lines here and write 2x power 4 plus 0x cube minus 4x square okay and yes one one more part i i forgot to write 2x square here okay now we should change the signs plus would become minus plus would become minus and minus would become plus because we are subtracting now isn't it when we are subtracting the signs will change so 2x power 4 minus 2x power 4 will become 0 we need not write that okay minus 3x cube minus 0x cube will become minus 3x cube okay minus 3x square plus 4x square will become x square and we should send this plus 6x here at the bottom okay all right now we should follow the same drill again that is taking the first term that is minus 3x cube and dividing by x square 
सो माइनस थ्री एक्स क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स स्क्वायर विल गिव अस माइनस थ्री एक्स ओके सो इट इज माइनस थ्री एक्स दैट माइनस थ्री एक्स शुड बी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो एक्स माइनस टू ओके सो लेट एस सी वॉट विल वॉट डू वी गेट माइनस थ्री एक्स क्यूब ओके प्लस जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर और माइनस जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थ्री एक्स इंटू माइनस टू विल गिव अस प्लस सिक्स एक्स ऑल राइट ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट रब दिस लाइन वंस अगेन ओके एंड राइट इट माइनस थ्री एक्स क्यूब प्लस जीरो एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सिक्स एक्स ओके चेंज द साइंस दिस विल बिकम प्लस दिस विल बिकम माइनस दिस विल बिकम माइनस Now minus three x cube plus three x cube will become zero. X square minus zero x square is still x square only, and six x minus six x will give us zero x or zero. Okay, and let us write this minus two here. All right. Now let me just rub this. Okay. Now. x square divided by x square first term divided by first term okay it will give us 1 so this will be plus 1 here okay now that 1 should be again multiplied by x square 0x minus 2 if you multiply we would get the same thing again so this is x square plus 0x minus 2 okay change the signs x square minus x square will become zero. This is zero, and minus two plus two will become zero. Okay, so the remainder is zero, isn't it? Okay. Now, what is the quotient? The quotient is two x square minus three x plus one, isn't it? So let us take that quotient. The quotient is two x square minus three x plus one. We should find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial now. Okay, if we find the zeros of this quadratic polynomial, we would get two zeros, isn't it? Two zeros were given in the question, and we will have two more zeros. So total four zeros we'll get, isn't it? So let us go ahead and find the zeros of this polynomial. Uh, you can use any method. We have quadratic formula method. We have completing square method, splitting the middle term, or graphical method, isn't it? In this video, I'm going to use the. Uh, 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 I'm going to use factorization method, so I should multiply two and one here. So two into one will give us two, and the factors of two are one and two. Okay, from these two factors, we should select two factors. So obviously, the factors would be one and two itself, isn't it? So one and two, how should we write so that it will give us the middle term minus three? It is pretty easy, right? Minus one, minus two. All right. So let us split this middle term. Like this, so this is two x square minus one x minus two x plus one. All right. So from these first two terms, we can take x common. So two x minus one will be remaining, isn't it? And I told you a trick in factorization method that whatever we get in these brackets, we should write it again, isn't it? Two x minus one. But here you have. Plus two x, but here you have minus two x. How can we make it minus two x by multiplying it with minus one, isn't it? So outside the brackets comes minus one. All right. So from these two terms, we can take two x plus one common. If you take that, what is remaining? X minus one will be remaining, isn't it? Or whatever is there inside the bracket, take one time. Whatever is there outside, take one time. Okay. Now we have two linear polynomials. We should find the zeros of this. Two x minus one equated to zero, and x minus one equated to zero. Okay, so this will become two x is equal to one, and x will become one by two, and here x will become one, isn't it? So these are the two zeros. Now, if you read the question carefully, the zeros, the two zeros were root two and minus root two given, isn't it? And we had to find two more zeros. So which we did, and we got the zeros as one and one by two. Okay, so total we have four zeros. The zeros are root two minus root two, one and one by root one by two. In fact, okay. So this is how we should find the two zeros. Okay, when two zeros are given in the question.
okay i hope the video was clear so see you see you in the next video